Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to another tarot card investigation of a news story. The idea behind these reviews is to dig into the subconscious in order to uncover motivations and intentions or maybe even conspiracies behind the stories. As always, this is just a card reading, so don't take it too seriously. Today, I'd like to look into why Hillary Clinton has come back out of what seems like hiding. Here, she basically has given a speech, uh, found this on a Twitter feed, <clears throat> where it's 57 seconds of her talking about fake news has real consequences. And so what we want to do is want to look into the cards and see if there's some, uh, see what the motivation might be behind this. And what I've done is I've, uh, in order to help define what we're looking for from the cards here, I have a section that I'm going to make sure to post up in the comment section <clears throat> and uh, with the article on the blog. Um, where basically, because fake news is misleading, the term really doesn't cover fake news. It's going to define, we're going to define what fake news is. So when you think about fake news, you think about things that just aren't true. Well, that's not the way fake news quote has been used here. So here, we're going to define fake news articles or videos are news reports where the author is pro or producer has done investigative research on the issue and presents his or her opinion of the situation while providing their support of evidence. This is basically the same thing that you would do with a uh, research article. <clears throat> to go farther, because this is so close to the definition of a research paper, uh, the video will, we will limit the collection of articles that are considered fake news or videos that are considered fake news to the set that specifically challenge the, the news narrative of the mainstream media companies or political organizations. We will add that fake news reports are quite often suppressed by the mainstream media or law enforcement agencies uh, quite often suppress any formal investigation of the topic, which could prove with reasonable confidence if the research was done accurately or not. So in other words, they are articles that are ignored and completely blacked out by the politicians, the law enforcement, and or the mainstream media. So here, we're going to look into some questions. I have eight questions that I've picked out for this today. Um, and so here, we're going to go ahead and uh, look into the first one. So the first question is, what card represents Hillary Clinton's uh, motivation regarding this fake news speech that she just gave yesterday afternoon? The card is the Four of Cups reversed. The Four of Cups reversed is a uh, a card that um, kind of is is uh, here it represents boredom, missed opportunity, uh, being aloof. So the card that best represents her motivation that kind of showed in her uh, speech, where she did seem aloof in all that. Um, it's as if she said it without uh, being there, without wanting to do it, as if she's feeling like she needed to do it. The speech was prepared for her. Um, we'll go a little bit farther. The feeling associated with that is uh, knowing that you've turned down an opportunity but not caring. So that's her motivation, knowing that she's turned down an opportunity but not caring about it. What card represents Hillary's true inner feelings with regards to fake news in general? Her true inner feelings with regards to fake news in general. That's going to be the Ten of Pentacles upright. This is the uh, success card. Uh, this is a card of um, being able to do whatever you want, whenever you want it. Uh, it is a card of uh, repre that represents you um, having been successful in your adventures. Um, it is the feeling uh, that you can say, do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it, uh, and that nobody's stopping you from doing that. Let's go into the third card. Um, the third card is what card represents Hillary's involvement in fake news? So, what card best represents how she has been involved in fake news? That would be the Knight of Swords reversed. So the, the night cards are uh, cards that represent uh, swift action. And so here, the knight of cards reversed 
is the feeling uh, where you expect your best friend to fight for you, but then they turn against you. So um, it is the uh, <clears throat> it is a swift action. It, there's lots of uh, activity behind this one. Um, when it comes down to the little principles behind it, it's scattered thought, disregard for consequences, cuts back against you, uh, upheaval, opinionated, uh, willing to be accountable, uh, unwilling to be accountable for your actions. Um, so that's that's the card that drops into Hillary's involvement in the fake news. Um, let's look at the fourth card. What card represents Hillary's uh, represent Hillary actually being harmed by fake news? So how what card represents her actually being harmed by fake news? That card is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is the cup of knowing that no matter what you do, uh, no matter how hard you try, you're you're unable to change the situation. It is the letting go card. It is the moving on card. So this card is generally a harmonious card um, in the fact that you're letting go and uh, basically no longer manipulating the, in the situation. So here, uh, is she actually going to be harmed by this? It may be that she's that that this will be let go and uh, she won't necessarily be harmed by it um, but there's it's kind of that that point of giving up walking away five what card represents the outcome of hillary's political efforts to outlaw fake news so how successful is she going to be at pushing this objective at outlawing fake news <clears throat> so this card represents the final completion. Uh, it represents uh, being disconnected. Um, it is the final uh, <clears throat> giving up. Um, looking at some little details of this, uh, this card is an inevitable ending. Promises of a new beginning trapped within the illusion, destined to repeat the uh, the process, destined to repeat the process, are being attached to what is lost. Um, <clears throat> so the card represents her political effort. So basically the completion of a process, um, <clears throat> whether or not she's successful with that, um, I would say because it comes up with loss that she might not be successful with that. Looking into uh, three more cards, what cards represent the how the political system will support the effort of suppressing fake news. How does the political system support the efforts of supporting the fake news? <clears throat> Here, we're drawing up the Knight of Swords, and the King of Swords. The King of Swords has the feeling of, in the reverse position, <clears throat> the feeling of having the old man as a liability because he always involved in what you do. So it seems like uh, how the political system will support her stuff, it's, it's as if, this, this is a classic political card here, <clears throat> of being involved, having, having the old man, having the system being involved in everything you do, seems to represent that uh, the political system may be pushing hard at getting involved in what everybody's doing. <clears throat> um, what card represents how the mainstream media will support the effort of suppressing the fake news? Um, of suppressing fake news. So how does the mainstream media support the effort of supporting? How, what card represents how the mainstream media will support the effort of suppressing fake news? Uh, it will look at it as a, a, a longing to, as if they're dreaming to. The Two of Wands is uh, is a card that has, I does, it basically, it's a goal or project. It's a formulating a new idea. The future planning, process, decisions, discovery, weighing your options. It's a restlessness that you feel. It is wanting and longing to. It's as if they want to suppress the news here, and they're going to actively try to do that. Eight. What card represents how the public will respond to Hillary's push <clears throat> to outlaw fake news sites or incriminate the authors of this fake news? So how does the public feel? 
about this process. <clears throat> the public is in the three of pentacles position. <clears throat> so here we look at it as <clears throat> the uh, inverted three of pentacles has a feeling of not being able to finish the first draft of a novel. So the public is going to feel like they're being shorted on this. The, the situation is where um, it never really comes to completion. Uh, ad, aspects to this would be uh, lack of teamwork, disregard for skills, disappointment in the results, not wanting to finish. It's as if the public basically is going to look at this and say, uh, they're completely unsatisfied with what has happened by the teamwork, say, the political system or the mainstream media or the fact that this information is available but nobody's following through on it. Basically, uh, this uh, I'm going to summarize all this in my uh, posting. Uh, I'll put that summary in the comment section and in, in the article on my blog. But if you like this type of reading, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel or my Facebook newsfeed. Uh, if you feel you know anybody that would benefit from this particular reading, feel free to share it with them. If you have suggestions for a reading, please contact me through my website. I want information with regards to the link uh, or where the article is and uh, so I can review it. And if I uh, report on your stuff, I feel that it would be fair for you to post that reading on your social media. Anyway, thank you for your support.